so the GPS is not working very well. Lori will definitely have something to say to this, but it's great to see what you do find when you get lost. I'm Dave and the channel is Harley's Diners Rides. This is my third video in the Americade series. Previous videos included a review of the Ledgeview RV Park and the second one was centered on Lake George and some of the Americade activities, not to mention taking in all of the bikes on Main Street. In this episode we'll be talking about our planned rides in and around Lake George. In planning this trip, we decided not to sign up for any of the guided or self-guided tours, such as the Lake Placid Adventure Tour or the Covered Bridge Tours that were being offered and sold by Americade. Morning. Before we get started, let's do a quick shout out to some great people we met during Americade. One of our first rides was up Main Street in Lake George to see the bikes, the people and attractions. We then headed north on Highway 9N which hugs the shoreline of Lake George. This ride was about 35 miles and took roughly one hour to reach a small village of Hague. We stopped there at the town park to stretch our legs and had a coffee at the community centre before turning around and heading back to the RV park. Our next ride took us around the Great Sakanaga Lake, formerly Sakanaga Reserve Reservoir, which is a large lake situated in the Adirondacks Park in northern New York. The lake has a surface area of 41 square miles at capacity and the length is about 29 miles. The word Sakanaga means land of waving grass in the local language the Sakanaga Lake is a man-made reservoir created by damming the Sakanaga River. The primary purpose of this was to create the reservoir was to control the flooding of the Hudson and Sakanaga River. The ride around the lake features tons of twisties, changing elevations and great scenery with many lookouts. and I really enjoyed Highway 9 and decided to do a little exploring of the adjacent roads and as shared at the beginning of the video we got lost and ended up at the hub in Brant Lake where we enjoyed a drink, bite to eat 
before asking for directions. Here we discovered Highway 8, which took us back to Hague and Highway 9. This was also a great road to ride. As Harley owners, we always try to stop in and visit the local dealership, in this case being McDermott's Harley Davidson in Fort Anne. Here we picked up a collector coin, looked at many t-shirts, but this time around didn't buy anything. This ride was a short 12 mile, 20 minute ride, but again a great road. As usual, the dealer had a number of vendors and attractions in the parking lot for us to see. Yeah. We also had planned a two hour, 100 mile ride around Lake George, but just simply ran out of time. Lake George and its surrounding area is simply stunning and after spending a week here enjoying Americade, we would highly recommend a visit and in fact, it's on our bucket list for a return trip. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, ringing the bell for notification and most importantly, leave us a comment below. And as always, ride safe, be safe, and we'll see you soon. For Harley's Diners Rides, I'm Dave. Take care. So what happened was, you were just a little bit slow getting under the gate. Oh. And it started coming down in front of me, so I couldn't get under. Mm -hmm. And then, for some reason, for some reason, the uh, the pass wouldn't work. Oh. I, and so I had to. Thank you. I, I found out yesterday. So what is it? Because the bikes.